Hello, beautifuls. Good morning. It is another beautiful day of disclosure. How is everybody doing? I see you all in the chat. We've got Oh Rude. We've got Justin 18th Manor. Good to see you, friend. Thanks so much for swinging by. Akashi Chris, good to see you. Mind blowing over you, a piece. And Urban Way Goofonian, thank you so much for tuning into the show today. We're about to get started on our Star Seed reading, but just as a reminder, it is Tuesday, August 16th, 2022. And we're going to be blowing it up. We're going to be talking about James Fox. We're going to be talking about this Brazilian UFO alien. I was so happy. The alien bodies are here. And I have that clip. Somehow somebody managed to send me the clip. Um, someone I'm trying to get on the show. Um, and it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Because they were able to like record. I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to talk about the aliens. James Fox says he found an alien body photo. Maybe. You know, they never can tell us for sure. But before we do that, we're going to get started on our reading, our Star Seed reading in just a bit here. I'm just waiting for some people to come in. We have Mind Blowing Over UAPs is here. Yes, good to see you. Uh, and I'm just really excited to get started here. So, whoo. Let me see. We're doing it again. We're doing it again. We're doing it again. All right. So the, the music's pretty good. The music's pretty good. We're getting some people coming in here. We're getting some people coming in here. All right. All right. All right. Pinsers awake. Yay. Sleep is nice. What's up, Born to Fly? Uh, yeah. So we're just kind of getting into it. Getting started. Oh, and Zach. I don't know if I said morning. Zach. Zachy. Good morning. Um, and then we're going to start channeling your energy in just a bit, my fellow star seeds. Oh, rude. That's a cool name, man. Cool road. Ed Witten, good to see you. Blood in the Sloss, good to see you. Hey, I actually made it. Good morning. Yes, good morning. All right, so we're getting started. Look, I'm not totally congested. <laughs> okay, maybe a little bit, but we got Babs here too. All right, so we got a lot of people. We are good. Helen Crystal Energy is here too. Yay, girl power girls are here all right girls and boys beautiful girls and boys we are going to be using a couple different crystals to to find your energies today in alignment with the universe what's up tommy good to see you man with the universe okay so i've got a couple different stones here organite um today i'm going to be using my organite that i made <laughs> It's kind of cool. Copper shards, some crystals. It's lapis, I think. I don't know. Um, but I made this, so we're going to be using this on our reading as well as my orange calcite. So, and then obviously my terminator crystal, which thank goodness, thank goodness, she's still here. Okay. Let's give you some crystal energy healing. Before we read everybody, crystal energy healing, cleansing the chat, cleansing the chat, cleansing the chat. Let me do it over here. Cleansing the show, cleansing the show. Okay, let's channel. Okay, that feels good. All right, and so I'm going to be doing the reading real quick. Uh, those of you who first watched the show, I don't really look at the chat too much while I'm doing the reading because I'm trying to channel. I'm trying to channel things, channel me things. Um, but today I feel, I feel like we're all in a pretty decent mood. I think we can do some Mystic Martian before we get started with our show. So um, if you could just do us a favor, uh, spirit source, if you could just protect us with a nice light to help protect us from all of the troubles, the energies, the things of the world. And as I'm doing, and it's also a good time for me to be able to check sound. So if sound is good, just let me know in the chat. Um, what do we need to know for our greatest self today so that we can reach our greatest version um, and so that we can make a higher impact on this earth and also fulfill our own soul track contracts, our own karmic contracts, our own, our own things. What do we need to know? Sounds good. Awesome. What do we need to know for today to reach our highest self? 
All right, so we got crop circles. Interesting. Crop circles is usually an indication that a message is going to be coming through to you today shortly. Um, it also means that there's curiosity signs. If you're looking around and you're seeing certain signs, but this is a clear indication that you are going to be receiving a message either telepathically. So be watching your mind. Watch, watch the thoughts that are in your mind. And I'm especially getting a huge energy about people sending telepathic messages to you. Um, so be open to the energies that are coming through your, I guess, your head chakra, your third eye and stuff. Be sure to check on those energies that are coming through on your third eye for a lot of different reasons, because I get the feeling that this is where this communication is going to happen. But you also may receive a message over the Internet. I don't maybe a letter. Maybe someone's going to come to you and give you a specific message. Wow. Whoa. I don't even sometimes I say things and I'm like, where did that come from? So that's something for us to think about. You guys, we've got a message a message should be coming in today so we're gonna do a little bit of a clarifying card on that and good morning to everybody in the chat like i said i'm gonna be touching base with the chat in just a second here it's just that when i do my star c readings i try to just focus in on channeling and then we get started and we're gonna talk about we're gonna be talking about these aliens don't you worry all right so what do we need to know about this message that's going to be coming through today um for a starseed spirit what what do we need to know apparently there's uh, a message that's coming through as this crop circle what do we need to know about this message so that we can be better prepared as this message comes our way today and how do we react to it how do we respond to it what do we need to do and i'll pull moonology after this because i'm feeling it what do we need to know about this message spirit oh there we go okay yep all right, Spirit already gave us two cards, so we don't even need to do a moodology. I had a feeling there was some energies behind this. Okay, so next we got water your garden. Nourishment, body, tenderness, rest, okay? So this message that's coming through, you know, you just need to make sure that you take care of you. Be grounded when the message comes through. Be sure to take care of yourself. Maybe don't have so many toxins. Maybe not have so much things around. Be sure to rest. Um, spirit is really regenerated uh, during sleep. It's a very in intense um restorative energy as well as nourishing yourself um and i think that's in preparation for this message that's that's kind of what i'm getting and then it, it really gets to this higher consciousness because we were already talking about telepathic messages so you got a uh, child of the cosmos which is the intelligence of the universe lies within you and you can actually see some of the stars are over her chakras um so what i'm getting from this is there will be a message telepathically over the internet mail i don't know but there is a message either coming through a person or something you do need to prepare for this message by watering your garden taking care of yourself making sure you're nourished with all of the nourishment vitamins everything you need so that you can be grounded earthed ready to go when you receive the message because it's going to be an intense message that's going to come through and give you the intelligence of the universe that already lies within you Oh, man, sometimes I don't even know what these readings come from. I think it comes from spirit. I think it comes from source. So glad you're all here. Let's get started. It's time to turn down your um, things if you don't like rock and roll. <laughs> oh, yeah, Taylor works, Steve doesn't. I'm not a real card reader. 33 in the ch 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 chat. We're doing it again. We're doing it again. Isn't that right, Kinsey? Yes! Oh, Ruth, good to see you. Yes, friend, good to see you. Rapping man, Urban Way, Randall Hill, what the slot? And we got Gorilla Gamer in the chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ha ha ha, Tim Preso. What is up? We're gonna get started. We're blowing this up. We're making this happen. And yes, that's true. Yes, Helen, we're doing it, girl. We're doing it again. We're doing it again. They said don't do it again, but we're doing it one more time. We're doing it one more time. Yeah, we are, baby. Good morning. It is Tuesday, August 16th, 2022, and it is another beautiful day of disclosure. And thank you so much for joining me. I can't tell you how happy I am that you are here. And we are going to be talking all about the James Fox documentary and the 
the, the Brazil UFO Roswell case where there were bodies and oh my gosh, you guys, we got the bodies. We, we got the bodies coming down the road. At least that's what like James Fox is hinting. He's saying that the bodies are coming. The bodies are on their way. And so I cannot be more excited. But before we get started, I just want to give a big shout out to all of our sponsors in the chat, including Akashi Chris. And I saw Helen Crystal Energy is here in the VIP UFO live chat fam. Everybody, Justin A.D. Maynard. We got a couple sponsors here in the chat. So thank you so much for sponsoring the channel. If you sponsor the channel, you also get 50% off your mug, which is a pretty good deal because then it's just $15 plus $5 shipping in the U.S., which equals only $20. But before we get started, my banners are gone. No, they're not. But before we get started, if you could just do me a favor, if you could just subscribe, if you could just share, just share it all over your hashtag UFO Twitter, hashtag UFOs, whatever hashtag you like, let's share it. And if you think that I missed anything, or you've met an alien or you've seen an alien or you have photos of an alien and now that i know that there's like a photo of an alien somewhere out there that james fox is having i'm going crazy but if you got one i want to see it too i'll go to you i'll talk to you i don't care if you've seen an alien i want to know and if that's you then i want you to email me at aliengirl 111 channel at gmail.com all right so i think we covered it i think we covered it we're ready we're ready we're ready Okay, so let's drop the music. Let's get to the Twitter sphere. So, so funny. Woke up this morning and I, f I forgot. I forgot my, my charger. I don't have my charger this morning, but it's fine. We're at 100. Um, I'm not too concerned, but I thought it was interesting for sure. Um, so we're going to be getting into, into this real soon here, but... Wow, yesterday, the Calvine UFO, dang, man, I don't even My mind is swimming, my mind is swimming. Calvine UFO. What do you guys, I mean, we talked about it yesterday, but we're on to bigger and better things because we're gonna be talking about this James Fox documentary. I'm gonna show a clip. We don't really show two clip. I love Amy's enthusiasm. She might be the only person on the planet who believes James Fox actually has a real photo or video of an alien. And that might be true. But the way I see it is one day I'm going to die. And, you know, let's get excited. What if he does, Zach? What if he does? You didn't see the photo yet. You didn't see the photo yet? I think this could make her uh, like that's the thing i was talking about this last night talking and talking about the aliens like i usually do james fox is taking a risk on this he is taking a risk he is taking a risk james fox he is talking about the aliens saying you found an alien body saying you found okay now if it is not an alien body he's in greer status like james fox is in a really authoritative position right now because he created the movie the phenomenon Straight up, he created the movie The Phenomenon. Everyone loved it. Everyone went nuts. It was on all the mainstream media, all of it. And um, he seems to believe the footage is real. But yeah, we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch this. Yeah, let's get excited. Why not? They ain't gonna tell us anything anyway. What do we got excited about? You know, it's that's what I like. That's part of the reason of doing this with you guys is because I like I. I feel alone when something cool like this happens what do you do go to work and tell your friends that james fox found the, the fact that there's an alien a picture around he's found a photo of an like who else are you going to talk to about that than everybody here in the chat or twitter or whatever yeah so let's let's get excited because if it turns out to be real that'd be damn cool that'd be damn co fox got nothing only trying to get interest for the documentary yeah you know but maybe not. Maybe he's got somebody's. I mean, it's, yeah, maybe it's. Let's we'll see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'll pull up the clip. I'm really hoping, you know. Uh, yeah, thanks for the tweet, Justin. I appreciate it, bro. I'm retweeting it, man. Thank you, Justin. Um, okay. Yes. So I was looking into this. I was I was reading more about this. I was getting more information about this. Um. And let me pull up the clip. Somebody sent it to me. And I was like, let's do this. Let's do this. 
So I don't know if I'll get copyright hit with this. I guess if I just turn it off and on and just rant in between, I should be okay, right? Let's see, it's, it's still loading. Load, 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 loading. Oh, here, here you go. Let me hand it. I've heard very little about it. <coughs> And sorry, guys. I the uncovered testimony, and I'm sorry that I didn't get a copy of the film to you prior to this interview. We uncovered testimony that's never been seen or heard uh, on this. Oh, okay. It's playing it on my Twitter too. Sorry, I was getting. Yes. Let me start it here and turn it up for you guys. All right, guys, go. This is the weirdness that sent me down the rabbit hole yesterday. I've heard very little about it. And, and so I think this was on the UK or something like that. Me. And I'm sorry that I didn't get a copy of the film to you prior to this interview. We uncovered testimony that's awesome, never been Jeanette. seen or heard I'm so glad. Uh, on this case. Welcome to the fam. Uh, of people that came, to, came in direct contact of a live creature unknown creature in broad daylight people that allegedly drove the creature around in an official capacity for the brazilian okay military. thank you all right so you guys heard that i don't 15 seconds at a time so right um i don't really try the copyright thing too much um I get really nervous about it, even though other people are like, no big deal, I'll get a copyright hit. I always get weird about it. Um, just because, I, you know, I feel like, um, you know, following is pretty cool. So here we got James Fox, and he's on, I do believe, I think this is Talk TV. And in this, James Fox is discussing how uh, he's discussing the alien bodies from Brazil. Um, and a lot of people do believe that James Fox does have, not a lot of people, I'm sorry. I have, see, like, I do this. I make up what I think you guys know. Um, so I'm going to have to put that into the chat. So that's the question. Because that's always how the good polls happen, is I jump on here. And I assume, because, see, and this is an interesting thing about ufology, is it's easy to be like, oh, well, you know. I know that this is real and I know that everyone agrees with me. Maybe they don't. Um, and I try to be aware of my bias, you know? So, okay. We're going to put that in the chat. What you guys think of, um, do you think there are photos of this? Good morning, darkest schooner, Brazilian alien photos. Do you think that there are photos of these these aliens from Brazil that Fox, James Fox, is talking about? <laughs> I don't know, you guys. This is so crazy. And I'm going to put maybe. Maybe it's always an option here for a lot of different reasons. It's got to be. we got to have a maybe option. Doctors that took autopsies and x-rays of the creature all on camera, all testifying as to what their firsthand experiences were with autopsies, <clears throat> autopsies and x-rays of aliens. That's just what he said. That's just what he said. I did. I put the poll up in the chat. Did you guys hear that? Autopsies and x-rays. Like, this is a great name for Alien Girl and all of us in the Alien Girl chat. We got the bodies. Just like we always thought. It's either the bodies, the documents, or the craft. One of those three. It's got to tell us what's going on. I almost punched my laptop. It's got to tell us what's going on. And yeah, man, I am going to scream it out of the top of my lungs. So let's listen to the next part. <laughs> I'm so glad somebody sent this to me. With this case... And I promise you, as sensational as the trailer might come across, moment of contact, it delivers. You yeah, so the, the trailer is pretty sensational. Um, yeah, because there's these three Brazilian women who uh, 
said that they were just kind of like, it sounds like they were just like hanging out in their backyard, three sisters. And I've actually heard, <laughs> I've actually heard the story. I do believe through Heidi Musan. I first heard this story and this account of, of the aliens in Brazil through Jaime Musan, but I totally lost interest once I heard that they took the alien and they were driving it around. That's when I was like, that's just too much for me. But they took that, it is an old story, it's from 1996. Um, but, you know, James Fox is really about bringing out things. And I really respect James Fox because he brought the Zimbabwe story to light for a lot of people. Um, he did that and in, in phenomenon. And, and it was kind of like the first time I'm, I mean, I was just so happy. And so for me, the Brazilian thing, I kind of forgot about it for a while. Um, because I was like, you know, I, I just had this weird movie movie moment in my mind with it where I thought, you know, these aliens, this aliens like hanging out with like a military dude sitting in the front seat with him. And I was like, that just doesn't work for me. That just doesn't work for me. But um, then in this documentary, they found a guy who died because he got an infection from touching the alien. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that made me be like, maybe the alien was in the front seat of the ambulance. You will believe this case after you watch this movie. After you, you know what? Not watch the movie. After you hear the testimony of the people that were there. I mean, look, it is astonishing doesn't cover it, but it's an astonishing story. So that's the thing, right? It's a testimony of people who were there. Um, and the testimony, personal testimony is a huge controversy. So, I mean, it's going to come out if there's a photo of an alien with this, that would be awesome. They should just, you know, but they're not going to show us cause they don't want to be called frauds. So they have to double, triple check, 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 check their sources. And they should, cause all of us who are really into it will check their sources for them. <laughs> cause that's what we like to do. Uh, Zach says, I like James Fox. I do. But the poor guy is being duped by Jaime. I've heard that story too. It's that's really coming from Jaime. Just discount the whole thing unless you like being duped. Yeah, um, I do ha live in this kind of world where I think it might be a mix. You know, a mix of truth, a mix of sensational. And you kind of have to dig through it even when it's from one um, source. I like you say, I haven't had a copy of it, so I haven't seen it. I've read about it. Have you got pictures of the creatures? That's, uh... <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do you have... I'll pretend to be James Fox. Do you have pictures of the... Of the... Do you have pictures of the entities? <laughs> You're sounding like a man who has. <laughs> But, but, but can't say right well, now. Let, 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 let me answer the question by, I, I'm just trying to... Okay, how do I answer the question that I have alien bodies? Uh, Jeff, what's up? Good to see you, man. Thanks for telling people on your show about me. We got some, we got a new friend here. Um, so as much as I like his, his out of context films, remember when he was, went to Rogan and lied to 60 million people about Mellon's emergency message the day that Mellon said, yeah, that was a lie. He's relying right there, says Urban Way. Yeah, that was sus, says Lo. Morning, Dorothy. Interesting. Let's hear more. Not expose our contacts and also tell your audience what kind of what I know. Mm -hmm. We have located both photographic and video evidence, yes. Whoa. We have located both photographic and video evidence of an alien. Yes. You guys heard that, right? That's just what he said. So I flipped out yesterday. I flipped out. I'm going to go find this picture. If this picture's here, we're going to go get it, you guys. I know. I said I was going to, like, you know, ask a lot of hardball questions to Lou Elizondo. But finding these photos, even if I can just get a little peeky, and then I can go on the internet and talk about it, and everyone can be like, oh she's crazy i'm the perfect person to show the alien picture to throw the disinformation out there because i but uh, you know the unfortunate thing is if i saw it and i told you guys it wouldn't matter 
because what matters most now is like how this information is is broken down how this information is found what that means looking at the source you know um, one of the interesting things that I was thinking about yesterday about the Calvine UFO incident is it was taken by like an anonymous citizen. It wasn't even like a soldier, like it wasn't even somebody in the military. It was just handed over to the Department of Defense, which is fascinating. Um, and so I don't know how far a picture of an alien would really go okay, at this well, time that's, anyway. That's a, I mean, that's gonna I, I'm, not trying to, I'm not trying to evade the question. Uh -huh. or, like, I don't want that to come across the wrong way. But it, uh, All right, I just got to stop it real quick for copyright. He's stuttering, right? He can't figure it out. He's like, well, the aliens, you know, the aliens are here. And I don't know how to tell you this. That's pretty, he's stuck. He says he doesn't know what to say next. Question, yes, we have. All right, you go. He said, he, oh my gosh. <laughs> We've got to rewind that. He just said, yes, we have them. He just said that literally in like one second. Okay, here. What are we at? We're at 221. What, 221? So I want to be back here. Yeah. The wrong way. But it, uh, to answer your question, yes, we have. All right, you've got the material. And is that material, which presumably isn't in the documentary, are you going to release that at some point? Will you be able to? Uh, uh, it's not in the documentary yet. Yet. We have. Uh, okay, here it comes, guys. I hope you're ready. God, there's so much stuff I'd like to go into, and I just don't want to. Uh, I don't want to. He's hesitating. You know what I mean? It's when they hesitate. Compromise. I don't want to compromise or jeopardize our efforts. But just well, so plus, I, also, we've got less than two minutes. So there's not much we can say. I, I'm not trying, I don't want your audience to think, you know, what is this guy? He's just dancing around this, this issue. Just, ah, what's this guy doing? Dancing around this issue. Da 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 all right, so <laughs> a little bit of dancing around the issue, but just so you know, oh, okay, we've got some chat responses here, which is great. So far, we've got a lot of people saying maybe, right? The reason he won't show the pics, maybe not. It might be a good, and good morning sightings on, on 18 wheels. I hope you're good out there, staying safe on the highway, my friend. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know if he has the, I don't know, but I'm super hoping that he does, man. I'm hoping that he has the pictures of the aliens. You don't understand. This is a celebration. Let's do a little dancing, right? Let's do a little, just a little bit, just a little dance, just a little tiny dance, because maybe we got the aliens this time, right? Here we go. Here we go. They're coming for you. They're here. Those aliens in Brazil. You know what I'm talking about. I heard they smell real bad. Seriously, we're about to get into that. I heard the alien smell. This was weird for me. Here, I'll pull that up. Because we need a basic general understanding. This is not just going to be an episode <clears throat> about James Fox and the documentary, which I'm super excited about. Um, please send me a press release. I would love to, you know, bring uh, James Fox or whoever would be willing from this documentary to come on my show. So one of my greatest goals is to be able to get people who have seen these aliens onto the show and to talk to them. This is what I'm super duper passionate about. But that being said, there was a general understanding to kind of create when I created this episode. I wanted to talk a little bit about the general knowledge of this. Like a lot of people were saying in the chat, Jaime Musan was a huge proponent, a huge person who put this out there, talked about it a lot, which is interesting to me because I, I got so much crap for taking a picture with Jaime Musan, not really, but some people were like, you're just a, I get it all the time, you know, but, but Jaime Musan, here we go, here we go, we got this coming out, and I know everybody's skeptical, but you guys know this ain't really the skeptic channel. Yeah, reptilians have a smell, <laughs> and Simpsons always predicts the future. Yes, see, we know what's going on. Uh, but you know, that was the thing about Jaime Musan. No, Jaime Musan, I mean the balloon guy. Jaime Musan, he was the one who was talking about this before, and I always discredited it. Number one, basically, um, these aliens that are taken a photo of by James Fox are red eyed aliens, so they have red eyes. What the hell? First, that was another reason I was like, let's discount that, let's discount that story. Because um, I've never heard of red-eyed aliens, you know, and I tend to be 
interested in the things that I've heard multiple accounts from. Like, that's what I, I, if somebody says I saw gray, and then like another person said they saw gray, and like another person said they saw gray, I'm like, grays. But this came out where it was like red eyed, oily skinned, aliens, different. And I have the New York Times, not the New York Times, we can check out the first few paragraphs of um, the Wall Street Journal. And I have that. Let me pull that up. But I mean, that's a pretty good little little video there i mean it makes me it makes me wonder but we're gonna pull up the oh well, look who's here everybody's here jeremiah's here good morning jeremiah we're gonna be looking over the new york times uh new wall street journal article that came out and this was referenced in wikipedia you know i don't consider wikipedia a source you know if you're going to do that it's incredibly critical that you actually go to the bibliography and check those sources if you're I think if you're going to be talking about it on a show, um, my own personal opinion, especially since we're talking about ufology, if you really want legitimate sources, um, I would recommend you go to the bibliography in Wikipedia when you share things. So this is from the bibliography of the Wikipedia article about the Brazil aliens. And I wanted to bring this up because how Phil Schneider-esque is this? I remember this. And I like, like I said, I like to go with the correlations. I like to see, they want me to buy it. I can't buy it. You won't let me look at any of it. Oh, you let me look at it on some of it. All right. Oh, they are going to let us look at some of it. Ha ha ha. Oh, they let us look at all of it. Ha 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 ha. We just got to be quiet, you guys, so they don't find out. No, I'll just take some clips here. So it was interesting. It was interesting. So let me just blow this up so we can look at this together as a UFO live chat family. And um, I think it's pretty critical because that what was weird to me is whenever I find a correlation between one story and another is when I really start to pique my interest. Um, Phil Schneider, I don't I don't know. You know, I've I've investigated the Phil Schneider thing quite a bit. Dual say New Mexico is in New Mexico. I have a video um, where I go out and I actually like took a bunch of footage on my GoPro. <laughs> on my GoPro, I took a bunch of footage on my GoPro um, and went to the Dual say base and filmed the Dual say base and uh, you know talked to a lot of people in the area. It was fascinating. So, Vogarina, ha, huh? Brazil. The incident uh, that made this town a hotspot in the intergalactic search for intelligent life started quite in innocently. A trio of young women in the clump of weeds, the three said they encountered a creature like nothing they had seen before. It wasn't man. It was something different, said one of the women. They had oily brown skin and rubbery limbs, she said. Three rounded protrusions sprouted from its oversized head. Standing out in different way, the creature's odor, one ghastly whiff, weakened the knees. And this is what Phil Schneider said when he entered the alien base in Dulce, New Mexico. And when he came down on the alien base, what ended up happening was, oh my gosh, thank you, Mike Johnson. Mike Johnson, it's good to see you. He says, good morning, everyone. Who doesn't love Wayne? Who doesn't love Mike Johnson? Am I right, Mike? Thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. Um, definitely going to be shouting out all the super chats at the end of the show. I really appreciate it. Um, and so that's the thing. When Phil Schneider went down into the alien base, okay? You remember Phil? Phil missed, he was missing fingers because he got hit by a laser. He said the same thing, that they smelled real bad. That the aliens smelled really bad. So if aliens smell really bad, maybe they're both telling the truth. That's what I'm learning. If they both think that aliens smell really bad, then maybe it's all true. <laughs> Jeff says, saying alien stink is going to get you in trouble with Demi Lovato. <laughs> I don't know how to spell her name. <laughs> you might. You don't know. You don't know, Jeff. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Turd Ferguson. Um... But truth of the matter is, is we don't know how Demi would respond to what I just said. We do not want to be talking about them not smelling good. That's not good. I don't know. 
You know, Solari already told us, you know, they don't like the word aliens. It's kind of it's racist. That's what she kind of said to us. I'm not kidding. It's not always okay. She's my girl. We follow each other on tweet. We tweet each other. You know, it's no big deal. But uh, yeah, we got to be careful what we say about the aliens because we don't know about, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know how they're feeling today. <laughs> Thanks, Dorothy, for the $2 super chat. I really appreciate it, girl. We are on fire today, you guys. This is such a good show. We are kicking butt and taking names, and we're going to be talking about those aliens till the end of time. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what... I don't know what the aliens, you know? I don't know, man. So, here's the weird part. Maybe we'll just... How about we do little clips from... Let's do, I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble with this, but let's just show, let's just, I don't know, moment of contact, 2022 trailer, I hope I don't get in trouble. We're just going to show it in increments. I'm pretty good at that, I would say. And actually, I don't even have to show increments. What I like to do pretty much is just to show you guys stills. Oh, and we could do something where we look at some new footage from third phase of moon because my boys my boys brent and blake said hey amy why don't you show us some more of your ufo oh, some of our ufos they said that they said amy you can use show us your show the ufos so you know if we but I, i'm excited about this for sure to talk about moment of contact this this was a brain this messed with my brain yesterday all right but um, don't worry, if we get done talking about this, I still got some UFOs to show you, some UFOs for us to talk about. How you guys doing with the poll? 37 votes? We got a big maybe. We got a 38 plus 30 yes equals 68% uh, of you say yes or maybe. Yeah, we found the aliens. That's what we like to hear. Oh, yay. First Floor Audio is here. We love you. First Floor Audio is number one. Go subscribe to First Floor Audio. It's links in the description. All the music by all here on the Alien World channel has been created by First Floor Audio. We love you. What's up, Sapphire Elf? All right. 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 So let's get back to it. So this is the. Okay. So this is the documentary. Here's the. the here was the intense thing, right? In 1996, the people of Brazil witnessed a UFO that would change their lives. It's better this way. It's better this way when we do this, when we do it this way, because then we can just kind of talk about it. So immediately, this changed their lives forever, forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever. <laughs> I mean, I guess it changed my life. So she saw the alien. They put Stanton in it. All right, look, Stanton's in it. Yes! I'm okay with it if you put Stanton in it. I pretty much believe everything that Stanton Friedman says. I'm just saying, that also was a selling point. Stanton is the number one ufologist that has ever touched the planet. Continuing. <laughs> Continuing, so yet Stanton's in the movie. So this isn't coming out till October. There's a picture. That's interesting. It had like three horns. That's interesting. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lantonio's here. Wally's World's here. Abby Lynn, good morning. Everybody's here in the ch, -ch, -ch, -ch chat. Yeah, so this alien, look, it has like that's coming out that they found that went in like and drove around with them and somebody touched one and died. Um, yeah, he had like three nodes on his head too. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. What else? You know, we still love you, man. It's all good. You know, it happens to everybody. It happens to everybody. And then we got the military freaking out. The military's on the phone about the aliens. Okay. All right. Let's switch some songs. So I do, I do, I do feel good about this one. And I, I really, 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 really hope. It's awesome. I was happy with the document drop with the Calvin. I was happy with that. And I looked at all this stuff and I don't know, you know, I'm I'm just a girl. I'm just an alien girl excited about the aliens. And I just want to celebrate with all of you. Because when it finally happens, I want to wake up with you guys. I want to dance. I want to I want to live this life. And I'm going to be like, yes, and we're all going to party. We're all going to party. We're going to have fun. So let's look a little bit more into some stills from the show. So I guess that's kind of like the car. 
that it was rolling around in at the alien. Finally, ha, the facts will be revealed. I thought this was just testimony, the facts. So this is the fact that changed my thinking about this case. The fact that uh, changed my thinking about this case was that some guy was actually documented going to the hospital with an infection from touching the alien. That's awesome. I mean, it's not awesome. I take this totally serious. It's not awesome. It's awful. But it's it's proof. It's proof. It's proof he was nobody touched the alien. He touched the alien like this. He touched him. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Morning Moonlet. They touched the alien and they got hurt by it, which which sucks, but you know. At least we have proof. The guy who got hurt, man, he did a lot for us. There's another the ladies, the Razoela Brasilia. Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot this part of the trailer. <laughs> the Brasilia Razoela. We're all very happy now, aren't we? Um, so there's James hanging out, interviewing, interviewing. So they also apparently have like a lot of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? They also have a lot of, like, Roswell-esque-ness to this town. They've got gray alien stuffed animals. Like, it's very alien-y. They make money off of this shit, off of this city being alien-y. The same as, uh, the same as, um, you know what I'm talking about. Roswell. Where I, where I roll. Where I roll every year. All right, so you got more people talking. So these three ladies, these three sisters, were hanging out in the backyard. And in night, see, there we go. In 1996, I saw a strange creature there. A creature. Isn't that interesting? It's like the validity of aliens suddenly becomes a creature. I guess because when you see an alien, you don't really know if it's from space. You can only call it a creature. A creature. I guess it is pretty scary. I'd flip out. I'd flip out if I saw an alien. Would I? No. No. I'd get out my cell phone. <laughs> I'd be excited even if it's the last moment of my life. I'd just be like this. I'd go live for you guys. <laughs> I would immediately. So stay tuned. Hit that notification bell. If I see an alien, I'm going live right away. Don't you guys worry. We start that documentary the second that dude shows up. It's like, yeah. Tell us what it's like to be an alien. Blah, blah, blah. I got you guys. I got you guys. Tell them to come this way. I ain't scared. If you're talking to them, you're meeting them, you know. Tell them come to a G111. Knockity knock on my door. I'm not excited about it, but they can come through the walls. I'll talk to them that way too. You know, if they're here, I'll do it, I guess. I guess I'll... Take me aboard a craft. Take me aboard a craft. All right, I'm just saying, but I'm bringing my phone. If they don't let me bring my phone, I'm not going. I'm fighting them off like Travis did. If they're like, you can't bring your cell phone on the UFO, I'm like, I'm not getting on the UFO then. No, not going. <laughs> and then they'll be like, fine, you can bring your phone. <laughs> so he's out there in Brazil. All right. Whoa, what's that a picture of? What is she drawing? What is that? Let's change some news. Let's change some news. Let's change some news. Brian L's here. What's up, dude? Um, I think I'll put on crafting the craft. A little bit of crafting the craft for the family. Sound good? Hmm? Everybody like crafting the craft? So what is she drawing? I saw the creature's footprint. Oh, that's the creature's footprint. Interesting. Huh. Huh. So, oh, that's cool. I don't know why they did that. I guess, you know, because we're like in that time period. Yeah, and then he just kind of goes and hangs out with his, his friends in Brazil. Oh, this is when, oh, he went to the ICU. So this is, this is the guy who went and he got killed. He died from touching an alien. I mean, I would say that's the, the pretty biggest piece of evidence about it. I know I was giggling about it before, but honestly, someone's life was lost to being infected by an alien? What the heck? 
Um, and the other component I want to bring up about the Brazilian Roswell incident. I can't pronounce it. Viagra. Sounds it sounds like a lot of different Viagra or I can't pronounce it. I'll I'll do it later. I'm sorry. I just tr- every day I try to be good. This is my celestite crystal. Cleanse, 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 cleanse. Alien pox. No. No. Not going back in my house. I don't care what alien pox is out there. Not going back in my house. I'm waking up and I'm doing it again. Thanks for reminding me. Hide some long grass. Wise person there. Hiding in the long grass. Yes. So, and this is what's interesting to me. Obviously this. What's up, Josh? Long time no see. Um, this is what's interesting to me about this is that the Brazilian government had that UAP hearing. I don't know if you guys checked that out. It was intense. I took some notes. I, I was getting really into it. And maybe, you know, this sort of event that happened in Brazil, maybe that's one of the reasons the Brazilian government was so much more open to talk about it. If someone died touching an alien, I think that's incredibly hard to cover up. And if you watch the UAP congrats, it was a real thing, like in Brazil, huge leaders were there. They were talking about every Brazilian case that existed. I do believe they talked about this one too. They talked about this case. Um, I'll have to look into it and maybe I'll tweet it out later, but I'm pretty sure they talked about this case during, uh, yeah, the Brazilian UFO. And it's very cool because Dr. Robert Salas was there and it was so much fun because that happened two weeks later. I got to meet him in Roswell. I got to meet Dr. Robert Salas and just have a chit chat or whatever. It was very fun. Um, so I was thinking maybe that had something to do with, 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 with just how intense this is. This can no longer be covered up. Awesome. I agree. The cover up. They can't cover it up anymore. We want the information now. Now. So wait, there's an x-ray. What's that an x-ray of? What's this an x- Whoa, what's that? I saw an x-ray. All right, I'm not going to try to get to the x-ray. This can't be denied. It can't? It can't be denied? Are you sure? I, I see a lot of people denying, and I'm very excited about it. A lot of people are like, mm-mm. Whoa, Justin Age. At the time, I remember seeing a video of the army chasing a creature through the jungle. Yes, and that's what's fascinating about our community here, straight up, is like a lot of us have been watching these YouTube stuff for a while. Like, and we've seen a lot of these random videos. Like, a lot of us, when you've sifted through it all, and Justin's one of those people who's been watching the UFO videos and, and the alien videos and, and everything. And um, he remembers seeing something like that. So I do tend to, and this is why third phase, third phase is amazing, is because this kind of stuff has been, it was out there, man. And it was out there and you could see it. And now it's not. Can I show that vid? I can't, but I can put it in the chat. Um, you know, it's just hard for me. I really try to be good about not playing things. I've been so good about copyright. I've never really had an issue with it because I always try to follow the rules and that can really help. But there's the link to I only really show clips. Um, me showing what I showed before, I tried to do it every 15 seconds. I still don't know if I'm going to get copyright hit, but I'll let you guys know. Um, but that's the full thing to it. Yeah. And I recommend you watch it. It's even cooler with the music. Yeah. And then they're like, there was proof. Da, 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 da. The moment of contact. There you go. That's what it was. How's the votes going in the chat? We got 47 votes, 48 votes. Keep voting. Vote, 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 vote. 50 votes. Check out my mug. Bam. We got any more votes? We got any more votes? Put it in. Tell us what you think about this James Fox alien. I don't know what you think. Isn't this cool mug? I made it. Oh, what? No, you know. Um, okay. So, it's a wild world. It's a wild world. It's a wild world, my lovelies. 
We're just getting some crystal energy before we have to start the day. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. But I did find that interesting, the connection of the smelly aliens between Phil Schneider. Yes, Dirty Mike. 50 people in the chat, 38 likes. Those are rookie numbers. We gotta pump those up, people. That's right. That is right. We're going straight to the top. We're gonna get them on. We're gonna be doing this. We're gonna be going all the way to the tipping top. Yeah, man. And you know, we're lucky. We've got some amazing people supporting this channel. Amazing things that are happening every day. And I don't know what's going to happen next. There you go. It helps. It helps. Okay. So let me, let me, oh, are we listening to the muse? All right. We're listening to the music. Well, I love you guys. I love you guys so much. You have no idea. I'm so happy. Helen says, if anything convincing exists connecting to Jaime, it would be out there already. He wouldn't have missed an opportunity. Yeah. Um, you know, there are some, and I would put Jaime in this, you know, if he sees, uh, and I guess I would put sort, I mean, uh, I would put myself in the category that I'm open to talk to anybody. And I have, and I think I've proven it on this show to talk to all sorts of different people who have talked to aliens or say they are an alien. Maybe they are an alien. I don't know. Or time travelers. I'm always open to discuss this. There was a lady at Tesla tech who says that she was channeling Nikola Tesla. And immediately I was like, that's interesting. That's interesting. Cause I always try to be very specific. You know, I'm just trying to be very specific with some things. Um, yeah. And so that's always interesting to me when people are channeling things, when people are talking about aliens. So this was just, oh, I was so beyond happy. Similar to Phil Schneider. Yep. That's what I said. Similar to Phil Schneider. Similar to Phil Schneider. Um, and yeah, there was some awesome videos on Thought Fez. We're going to review those tomorrow to model because this is our amazing amazing show and like i said people were flipping out more about the calvine ufo i think it was real i do i think it but you guys are if you watch the show you know me oh it's real it's real it's gotta be real the aliens are real hey man if we get excited enough they might look at us and be like you know, they're really excited over this stuff. Or say it is fake. Okay. All content about aliens is good content. Why do I say this? Bob Lazar and the Flying Saucers. You got some people who are like, it's fake. 100%. Which, by the way, I am working on a cool video. <laughs> hides in long grass she channeled tesla but we don't have free energy right i don't know and then you know you get to this point where it's like if i have someone you know and you come on the show and you can communicate and stuff like that um sue walker was awesome to have on the show because we had anti-gravity people on the show too and they were talking about like equations and stuff equations and stuff so that was fascinating. That was fascinating to me. Hi, Samantha. Good morning. But I think if we talk about it, it's going to happen. And this is the thing that always got me. This is the thing about the show. I just think we need to talk about it. It doesn't have to be special. It doesn't have to be through the roof. Amazing research. There's enough of it out there just to discuss it every day. And yesterday was a big day. I was able to go into my normal little life and show a normal little person in my life this photo. <laughs> and I had people be like, I'm like, yeah, the Department of Defense, uh, you know, over there in uh, Britland, in the UK, man, they found this. It's this UFO. It's a straight up flying saucer. And I heard the fog theory. I heard it all. I still love this photo. I still love this photo. I love this photo. I love this photo so much. I'm going to blow it up. I'm going to put it in my office. I like it. Makes me happy. You know, some people 
take freaking uh, Billy Meyer UFOs and put them all over their house. I mean, like, this is decent, you know? This is one you can... You can make some comments. Well, yes, there's a UFO, yes, in my home. Oh, yes, I'm in, I'm interested in the studies of ufology. Yes, mm-hmm. Here's this UFO. Yeah. I think this is one that would look good. But we can't do this one. They'll get mad. <laughs> They'll get mad. Oh, my lovelies. Oh, I love my lovelies. You're so beautiful. All of you here, this has been such a fleeting, amazing show. Um, I can't believe how many came. I think um, I think my mentors have definitely helped me out. I've been learning a few things about these uh, these thumbnails. It's true, man. I have I have like epic mentors, and they're definitely helping me increase my views. And it's it's because I found mentors. Seriously, straight up, get mentors, people. They're important. Oh, this isn't what we wanted. Old Jamie Fox. I called him Jamie. Is that right? Is that his other name? You guys know me. I make up names for all of them. Jamie. Jamie Fox, like the mom, like, like the mom that always messes up, like all of your friends' names. Where's Jamie? Have you seen Mickey? Where's Mickey at? I'm already that lady. I'm already that lady. It's, it's, it's absolutely, I'm there. Where's Mickey West? I remember the last time I saw Mickey West, he was on the internet talking about the UFOs looking like kites. Is that, is he still doing that? Is Mickey still saying the UFOs look like kites and birds? Yes, my lovelies, the time has come. A beautiful day of disclosures ahead of you. And we're going to do it again tomorrow. And we're going to do it again the next day because they can't stop this crazy train. Because you know what, my lovelies, how did you get here? <laughs> How in the hell of the YouTube algorithm, algorithm, all algorithm, did you manage to find yourself here? I don't know how you got here, Jeff. How'd you get here, Turd Ferguson? How'd you get here, YouTube Chris, right? Because Jamie Fox, man, he found a photo of a fucking alien. And we're gonna see that. He's coming out with that. He needs to come on the show. You don't think other people believe you? I believe you, Jamie. I called him Jamie again. I believe you, Jamie Fox. <laughs> just cute when you put an E at the end. Jamie. Jamie Fox. Because we are broadcasting here. Live and alive, Brian. Oh, thank you for being here. In the middle of the flipping desert. In the heart. Of alien country. And one day. It's all gonna come out, you guys. You freaking know it. The bodies. The documents. Even the craft. Yeah, you know what? And they're gonna say, you know what they're gonna say? They're gonna say, they're gonna say that they always knew. They always knew. You're gonna say, wait, man. No, I knew too. Because I was listening to Alien Girl 111. I love you guys. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Eric James, for coming to the show. Justin, AD Maynard, Hillbilly Tarzan. I'm going to give a big shout out, Mike Johnson. Thank you so much for the $6.99 super chat. And thank you so much, Dorothy, for the $2 super chat. I'm so happy that you all came. I'm so happy that you're all here. First Floor Audio, best freaking tracks, number one UFO channel, number one music channel on the internet, Clutton Slot, Eric James, Wally. World before Star Inca, he came first. He was number one today. He was first. They might say you're crazy. That you don't know what's going on. But we know that is not flipping true. And I love each and every single one of you. More than you can possibly know. No one's blocked anymore. Lantonio, thank you. And I will see you next time.
Thank you, Justin, for the retweet, man. Thank you so much, you guys, for being here. We got close to 60 people in the chat this morning. Holy moly. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Sorry for the coffee. Thanks, baby goat. Peace.